Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> I am here. And I'm Pass Grab. Today I'm gonna show you my de design team project from Louisa Heinzel. It's a digital kit called um, Christmas Eve. And she has also created an ephemeral. So go into Etsy and look at all the things she has done. She's really, really good. So go inside and, and take a look. And she's called Louise Heisel as well on her Etsy store <laughs> and Facebook and Instagram and her website. <laughs> but I will put a link uh, below the video here. Okay, this here is a wallpaper. It's about 20-25 years old. I had it in uh, one of those big books so you can see what wallpaper you want on your wall. And I got it from uh, a sweet friend. Um, she came with lots of those big books. <clears throat> so I thought, okay, let's try to make a cover with it. And I have been scored down here so it can uh, bend wherever I want it. And nothing is particular here, only some yarns have been putting on. And Christmas thing here, and this is the seam binding. And this is from her kit, the sweet little girl here. Um, I will tell when it's not her kit I'm used because I have been used a lot of things. Um, yeah, let's take a look inside. So everything is hers beside my wallpaper and when I said it's not. Okay, this um, was a gift, uh, gift bag, paper gift bag, and I have been created as a, a little booklet and I have been used that kind of silk thingy. It's really up these days. People love it, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna grab some as well. But wow, that is so expensive, and I got so little things of it. Wow, this is from her kid, and the things in the behind here is one of my friends that had created it. It's so Christmas like, so I thought, okay, let's put it on some lace, and I have been making it with a little pocket here. And a little tag and a Christmas card here. That is the uh, Louisa Heinzel's own. Yeah, I don't know. I don't need to tell when it's hers. I'll not. I'll just tell when it's not her. <laughs> then I have this Danish um, notebook. Um, it's really really old. It's from nineteen. 20 something like that. Um, yeah. And I had put a tag up here and a little magnet in here so it can stay close here. And a postcard here as well. I love her postcards, they are so nice. And I have been used um, a normal. Printer, uh, Canon, try not. Yeah, Canon. I think it's it's Canon, and it's color uh, printer. Like that. We put this on later. Like that. Okay, let's take a look inside of it. I thought it was really nice to have an extra pocket here because when you close it. I have a space here and a space here, so I want to uh, put a pocket in here as well. But I thought it was too many pockets. So I also should have put some, uh, um, what do you call it, cardstock in here so it will not go like this but stay 
like that. My mistake. I'll do that next time. <laughs> and then I put some pong pong on it. They're really pretty, the paper she has created here. And this is ephemera. She had been used. Some small tags. I have copy dyed it. So it could get this vintage look. And this up here is from. Um, oh, I'm out of. I hope you didn't miss anything here. I'm normally used to do like this with my arms when I'm recording, but I have been removed my camera a little bit further this way. Um, yeah, I have been copy dyed it. And this lace here is also the seam binding. I find some Tim Holtz uh, spray stain in cover. So I used that. I thought it was really nice, shiny a little bit. And here I find uh, a note. Uh, this is really old, this one here. Uh, it's not the same as the other one. This is from 19... Um, or is it 18? I can't remember. It's really close to the um, the shift of 1800s to 1900s. So yeah. And this is Prima Marketing. I've used because I thought it was so nice up here to this one here. And her small tags. If you can hear some really strange no noises, then I have a kitty. And he is around my table down there. And I can't get him out because I have so many things under the table here. Actually, I think he's coming now. <laughs> okay. And then I took a napkin onto one of my book page. And folded and made it a tag. And then I made a, a tap of it. It's so nice. And here is Prima Marketing as well. And a lace here, and I have been used her text and cut it down here. And here I had a tag. I guess this is from um, mycreativescrapbook.com, the monthly kit I've been used for the Christmas thing, I guess. Yeah, he came out now. <laughs> and then I got this paper from um, a really sweet lady called Nina. Um, she's in my Facebook group. And she had copy dyed some paper as well. This one here. And I thought, okay, let's put it in this here because it's so special, this one. And it says, Merry Christmas here. <laughs> and I had used some stencil on top here. And I have uh, used a blending tool with a vintage photo with Tim Holtz ink up here. And then this little book here. A funny uh, pockets here and here. Yeah, I don't know where this paper came from. I guess it was one of the friends there have been selling, but selling, but sending me some happy mails. So it's from there. And this paper is also the old one you saw earlier. And look at the page here. It's so old, so delicate. Yeah, so I thought, okay, let's uh, protect it just a little bit with this one here. Yeah, some more from Louisa and here as well. And this burlap up here is actually a sack from Carlsberg. Carlsberg. They are making beer and this is from 1939. Uh, mm, yeah, 1939. So it's really special 
and I have cutting it out. People are saying, I am not a what? <laughs> Don't cut it up. But I did. I had to use it. <laughs> and then I have those little tags here. Also copy dyed them. A little embellishment. And this is a lace with flowers on. I have been um, colored them with the stain, uh, Tim Holst stain. And I have, every time you see the uh, red, the green, or the brown, then it's the stain I've been used. Just like here, I've colored my own page and used uh, a stencil over here. And then I took some, um, what it calls, do, 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 do. Uh, I can't remember the name now, foil, it's foil. I put some glue on and then I took the foil, used my uh, ruler and then it came out. And here is some of her paper and the washi tape. And this one here is is actually the paper she have been uh, created my friend earlier. I told you I told you that she had um copy dyed some paper here and that is it also. Look at the lace that's here. Actually it's not lace but it have effect of the lace. So that's pretty cool. And the stencil here and I took the um from the other kit I bought and some um, tags here and this is a, a tank spot you can actually take it off but uh, I have been put this clips on it so it won't come up and this is a lace I have been used yeah you can see I have used it <laughs> but I had colored it as well um, yeah I used the same stain and all that and this funny here is like this. It goes like this. And there's a little pocket up here with a little tag. And in front we have the bottom. Bottle. Uh, not bottle, bottom. <laughs> and more ephemeral. And when you turn it around. I've been making this collage, also with the uh, napkin, some of her paper and some from a book, Danish book. Yeah, I put it all the way up, like that. And again here, lace with the green stain, and we have it here as well. And I saw this, um, and I thought, okay, that would look nice here with this red thingy here, the yarn. So yeah, and copy dye paper I have cr created with some stencil and this funny little pocket here is funny. It's on a book page. Then I have been used some different kind of paper to mix it and the burlap here and some old paper I had. I can't remember what, what it is. And then I took this funny little thing here. I guess list of what you're calling it. I don't know. And the lace here is well really old as well. About 20, yeah, 20 years I guess. And then I have created this little tab. I don't have the punch of it. But one of the uh, lovely girls from the uh, design team have created some for me, but not this one. I have been have, um, created some in my own as well. I took, let me show you, I took some paper here, let's just do like this. Not beautiful, not nothing. We do like this as well here on the side, like that. Okay, then I had. I have this little punch from EK and when you have the bend over paper 
up here. It will go inside here. Now we push. Also on the other side. And push. Let's see, we have a little tab here. Yeah. Oh, you could have used your uh, the one you're making holes with, just like I did here. I have this one from uh, We Are Memories Keeper. Um, crocodile, I guess it's called. Yeah. But now we have a tab here. Cool. And some more writing paper here. Then I've been created this little booklet. It's, um, I guess it's a Swedish design here from uh, Maya Design. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, I guess it's Maya Design. It's a Swedish one. And again, I have this old paper in here, the, the note. I have an old no notebook. So, yeah, and I have created this little tab as well on this fine little picture with Santa Claus and a little kid and a dog. And this is ho ho ho. And here I have used this same lace with the stain with the cover. So, pretty good. And up here, I got this yarn from one of my friends. It's so pretty. And this one, there is some um, things inside, so it it can stay. What it calls some soft iron, or what do you call it? I can't remember. Yeah, and it's text spot here, and in the back, "Merry Christmas," it says in Danish. And then I want to uh, sew it, but I was too lazy. So I just draw it. <laughs> and this is some two. Yeah. Okay, let's turn around. And then I had this old paper here. Uh, it looks like a table um, clothing, you know, the thing you put on the table when you are eating and all that. And I've been used the uh, flower um, laces as well. And when we take it out, we have a pocket up here with a card, a Christmas card. Because you have so many ideas, so I have no clue where it all comes from. I wish I had it, all those fancy ideas. But I don't have. Maybe that's why I don't create a uh, paper. Only the blue one I have, I have showed it before. I made a blue Christmas um, journal for my own. Okay, then I have a little pocket here as well with a tag. And small tags here. And again, the burlap from the gift bag. And some uh, red, um, yeah, I just did it. <laughs> oh my god, two and some silk here. And over here, I thought it was so funny. I have it on my uh, um, ideas book this year, and I just got the paper here. So I thought, okay, let's try to make a pocket out of it. And Lisa had created this tag. I have been cutting down, so you can actually see the Santa Claus. So I thought, thought, okay, it's fun to have. So it looks like you're looking out of the window. And Santa is coming and visit you. If I could get it there. Can you see? Here. It's so sweet. So sweet. Okay, then I didn't want to uh, glue anything on her paper here because it's so beautiful. Look at it. It's so beautiful. That's why I kept it as a, a middle page. 
and in this side I had coffee dyed and it's her tag and I used this one here from her collection her kit and this is the uh, same here um, the uh, bup, 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 I have it in front here now my brain is sleeping I guess <laughs> maybe it's because I have been trying to recover it recover not recover uh, recording <laughs> I tried to recording this so many times now something came up and the first one went really bad because the focus was not good but this one here I have been making it as um, a paper you can write in you can write to Santa or make it a memory list or remember list or to-do list or something what you want that is all up for you and then again the same we have in the front with the burlap again and the tag and some funny thing here I have coffee dyed it and it's so delicate so if I touch it too much it will break and I have tried that <laughs> A couple of times not exactly this one but another one you can see it later and again I put my um, napkin on here as well I took only the first layer on it I put some um, glue stick on and then I used a really soft brush just do like this and when it dry I took my uh, blending tool and softly go around here and on top with the um, Tim Holst um, Distress Oxide um, Mitch's photo. And here is a little pocket. This is from Tim Holst as well. Like that. And this is uh, Lisa Hassel's. You saw it in the middle. There was many flowers. And we have put a little lace on. And her tag, and one more tag, with an angel. And of course it says angel. How you pronounce it and all that. That's good. And put it in here, like that. And again, it's one of my friend's uh, paper. We copy dyed with some lace on. And here and here I have been used uh, a stencil. Same here. And this is Louise's flowers as well. And again, lace I have been uh, colored with the stain and used some stencils as well here. And here again, from earlier, I had this paper here. And then I have one of the uh, cards as well here. Get it inside. Don't need to put it all around or the way in like that. Okay. Then I made this one here. That was funny. Put some lace on here. This is a Danish book I took off. Some side. Some pages, I mean. And some of the paper up here. And a tag. small tags here as well here here and some bottom that Louise has created and did some stenciling here and then I create this funny little thing it's a um, what it calls file folder small one I have been made and a tag inside here and this is a little um, plastic bag from when you buy some small things craft things you get it with you so I thought okay let's try to make it flat with it and put some of those guest thingy or what it calls 
and some embellishment. Gonna lift it up like that, and then I got this in a calendar I got from one of my sweet friends. I can't remember which day I got it, but I just got it. It's a package calendar. <clears throat> and attack with the angel. So hard to get down here. A little bit here. And attack here as well. And again, the lovely paper here. I just put some red um, oxide ink on it and the lace again and then this the other side of my paper I have created and this is a um, this is a um, oh what it calls when you create something pegamino then you use this one vellum it called or transparent papers or something like that. I have a little sweet thing here, the Santa from Pia. <laughs> That's me. And two tags I have created with the same here. It was some leftovers I had. So I thought, okay, let's let's use it for something funny in here. So there's something. Um, that can tell that it's me. Okay, and this one I didn't want to to do anything with because I think it's so wonderful. It's so beautiful. And I love this little girl here. She's so wonderful with the flowers in her hand. Maybe she's going to visit her grandma. You never know. <laughs> and then I tried to uh, put some gesso in the behind of the other paper I had. But it went really, really bad and so ugly. So I thought, okay, we take this one from her kit and put it on. And then I put this on here, the silk thingy with bling. And after that, I saw, okay, there was those funny things down here. I didn't even see it when I put it in. So, yeah, it's a win-win situation I had there. <laughs> and then again, my really, really old... Um, notebook you can see it here it's so old that if I do anything with it it will um, yeah it will break so I'm really careful and then I have coffee dyed and burnt this so it should look it was really really old one it's the Santa Claus from Louisa Heinzel's kit and one more from the kit, Mary and Bride, and I have coffee dyed it, and a little tag, come on out here, number nine, with some lace and some tulle as well. And that's the other side of the notebook, the note uh, paper page or whatever, and Merry Christmas in Danish. Then there's a, this little pocket. I had made this little pocket here as well. And I took some of those. I coffee dyed and break a little bit so it should look like it's really, really old. Like that. And then in the back here to portray the Okay, and the clip on top, like that. Okay, the next one, a writing paper, and a little tag here, I have been making a little collage with, only a little bit. And this button, and I draw some yarn inside of it, so it looks more that I have been sewing it, but I haven't. I'm too lazy to sew. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is snow and let it snow and silent night. And then I have been used some stencils as you can see here. 
also Tim Holtz. And I have Primo Marketing here with the flowers. I love it. I thought, okay, it have to go in my book here. And then I got those nice, wonderful, lovely uh, bags. I guess it's gl glassy, glassy, glassy bags or something like that. With again some coffee dyed embellishment from Louisa. And to protect it, I put it in the bag, just like the phone. Like that, and down in the pocket. Like that. And then we have a little pocket here. And this should have been a flip thingy. But I thought it was really, really ugly, so I took a white paper, glue it on, and stencil. And then I did make a little collage here with Santa from the kit. And this is also for the kit. I love it. <clears throat> and then I got this note paper here. It's A4. Um, and it goes like this. Not like that. It's so funny to uh, feel on it. It's just like a fabric. Close to fabric. But it's not. It's, it is paper. And then some tool and some lace with the flowers. And a tag. And here is the same Santa when you saw it in the uh, funny bag with the Willem on. And here, that is the old uh, page from the uh, notebook I have. And it's um, really, really old. I have copy tied it a little bit. But, oh, not much. And this is from Louise Heinzel's uh, kid as well and her small tags here. I didn't want to put so many in. And I didn't want to put some um, lace on top of it. On top of it. <laughs> because then it will go like this. And I don't like that. It's beautiful as it is here. And again a pocket here with her embellishment and I have been used some uh, cheesecloth here and two more tags of hers copy dyed of course and the last page here and of course the sweet girl so that was it my friends I hope to see you on my channel and if you don't already subscribe, please do so. Or stay tuned. I know there is some uh, videos with Danish. I'm, t in, I'm talking or speaking Danish in my videos. Please be patient with it. Um, I will make lots of English as well, just like my design team project. Um... Sorry about that. That was one of my friends uh, texting me. <laughs> um, what was it? Yeah. In the new year, I will have more focus on the English videos. Because I will keep my group for the Danish people. And they can do whatever they want and like and all that. And then I have my page. Uh, pal scrap and my open page will be for you guys so you understand what I'm texting and and you understand what I'm putting up and speak about and talk about and I know that I'm sharing with you in, in English and I hope my English will be better <laughs> <coughs> but you never know <laughs> but for now I want to see say Merry Christmas to everyone and I really hope to see you in the future. And please subscribe down under the the video here. Please subscribe. If we if we are going to be 400 before Christmas, I will give this this one here to one person. And it's okay if you come from Germany, Berlin, 
uh, Austria, um, France, Italy. I don't know where where you're coming from. It's okay. I will mail it for you. No, nope, no worries at all. So please make some more to subscribe my channel so we can get up to 400. That is a milestone for me because I thought I have been on the 300 for so long time now. So I would be so happy to get that in my Christmas gift from you guys. Let us get up to 400 please. <laughs> but take care now and See you around. Maybe there will come a, a movie. Not a movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm a movie star. No. <laughs> um, just stay tuned and look after a new video. It will come soon. Maybe sooner. You know. So, bye for now. Bye bye.